It's true, sir. They're inside the fortress. Good. What about the outpost? They've set it up and are waiting for you to take over and give instructions. The new guy, Private, um... Carpal? Yes, that one. He's in charge right now. Good. I've told you before and I'll tell you again. This mission is important. The man inside that fortress, Isamo Tahar, he's more than just an ordinary lawbreaker. He's a traitor, he's a mage, and he's a murderer. We are the best the Royal Army has to offer, and the Queen put her faith in us. So let's not fail her. Now move to the outpost. Yes? Wolves. Rabbit, what a lovely piece of earth this is. The outpost? Yes, sir. Good. Then let's find Private Carpal. All right. General Noria, it's an honor. Private Carpal, report. How much resistance do we face? Impossible to say, sir. We've captured two of the rebels in the woods, but they wouldn't talk. All we know is that there have been some troubles within the, um, resistance. That might be to our advantage. Where are those two rebels you captured? Can I talk to them? I am afraid that won't be possible, sir. They're dead. How? Poison. They had it in their robes and swallowed it once we left them in their cell. Cowards. You mentioned troubles within the resistance. What do you mean by that? The prisoners wouldn't tell us, so we waited for your arrival, as you ordered. As you might know already, Tahar and his mages barricaded themselves in the old fortress. We'll need to find a way inside. Then that's what we'll do. Anything else? No, sir. Good. Good work, Private. I'm glad they assigned you to my unit. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let the workers know I'm in command now. We need to get this camp and our men into shape before we can make a move. Understood. Get over here, men. Yes, you. For those of you who don't know who this is, General Sentenza Noria, spy master of the Queen and commander of the Wolf Guard. He's the one in charge of this operation, and from now on, you'll follow his orders. Understood? Yes, sir! General? Yes, first we need to- Rebels, we're under attack. Blazes. Keep it together. We'll show them what it means to take on the crown. Take him down. That was all of them, I think. Are you all right, Gwen? I know how to defend myself, baby brother. But thanks for asking. Quiet.
Quiet. If Tahar knows our location, it won't be long until he'll launch another attack. We should stock up on resources first, and then set up a barrack to arm our men. Let's begin. Carpal, get the hunting cabin manned, and see if we have any lumberjacks among our workers. We need wood. Understood. There's plenty of fish in these waters too, so maybe... Sure, whatever helps. Commander. Good. Now let's build the barracks. Yes? Pray tell. Mm. Orders? Understood. Did you say something? Yes. General, I advise against issuing orders directly to a worker. Tell the taskmaster if you want something constructed, or a building manned instead. Let the taskmaster know if you need something, Corporal. Acknowledged. Of course. You got it. Sure. Where are you from? We never got the chance to talk back in Greykeep. Some village in Iskander. Doubt you'd know it. Hmm. And how did you get the Lord Marshal to recommend you? Gwen, just stop pestering him, okay? <sighs> all right, all right. Make it quick! Fair enough. Now let's man them. The quicker we get those soldiers armed, the better. Sir, a question? Mm -hmm. This coup Tahar is planning, if we don't stop him, do you think he'll have a chance? No. Even with support? I've heard that House Iskander is sympathizing with his cause. Tahar's cause is power. The rest is just verbiage to get a following. And even if it weren't, and this revolution he's planning really is about the safety of mages, Eilat Iskander doesn't care about that. If he is supporting Tahar, 
It's because he's hoping to gain something from it. Hmm. Makes sense. Then let's get to it. Yes. That way? All right. Orders? I'm ready. Huh? What is it? Yes? Hmm? Say the word. What? Mm. Yes. Need some 